I am Bill Cortright with Living Right with Bill Cortright. And this is the Stress Mastery Podcast, where we take you from the science to the spirituality of stress mastery. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Stress Mastery Podcast. I am your host, Bill Cortright. This week, our topic is the life category finance. Today's Setup Sunday, I'm going to discuss money anxiety. On Monday with the Super Millennial, David will talk on money and the millennial. This week's health huddles, we're talking on investment in health. In the meeting of the minds, we got a special interview with Anna Ramos, the CEO of Amita Wealth. On Connection Thursday, we're going to talk about the prosperity mind. Friday, we continue our book study, Courage is Calling by Ryan Holiday. And we will close the week on Saturday discussing finance with Coach Peggy. So today's Setup Sunday, I'm discussing money anxiety. This is, there is this, I guess, quandary or this condition in our society today. There is this state that exists in today's society. It's called money anxiety. And money anxiety stems from the state of 100 fear, the mid-red zone energy. Money anxiety is also referred to as financial anxiety and is more common now than ever. In in a 2022 Stress in America survey, 87% of people listed inflation as a source of significant stress. The rise in prices for everything from fuel to food has people from all backgrounds stuck in fear and worry. Now, fear is an energy that when you are in it, creates potential. So when you worry about money, you create the potential of lacking money. And this is important to slow down and really look at your money mindset. The researchers say that financial anxiety causes more stress than any other issue. So if we are stuck in money anxiety, this means we are stuck in thoughts and stories of lack and fear. And this, these stories of lack and fear is not having enough money to survive. This will, it must, take its toll on your health as the body supports the mind. And what will happen eventually is you will develop anxiety. And more important, you will feed lack. You will feed the want of more money. Feed the lie that you can't make it. And this will feed your reality. You being stuck in money anxiety will impact your entire life. In fact, money anxiety will impact all the life categories and it will affect the overall quality of everything that you do. Being stuck in money anxiety creates unusual behavior. Let's say you worry about money. You're stuck in money anxiety. Suddenly, you have a great sum of money come into your life. You see your bank account with a couple hundred thousand dollars. Wow, that was not there yesterday. You'd be happy, right? You'd be excited, right? You would be relieved, right? Well, here's the challenge. The human being is hardwired for behavior. This behavior is dictated by what is held in mind. What is held in mind is the identity set through the programming. This identity sets your perception and expectation. The reason that you have money anxiety in the first place was your identity has a lack program. And your identity drives your behavior and builds the reality you live in. So you see all this money and immediately the identity knows this does not fit into the reality that it has built. So the identity sets behavior to get the reality back to its program. Now, you could invest the money smartly, grow this money and never have to be in a money anxiety again. but. First, let's buy some stuff. Let's buy the car we've always wanted. Let's get that expensive bag for our our spouse. Let's buy some jewelry, stuff we always wanted because 
it will make us happy. And that's, that's at least that's the belief we've always had. We've always believed that if we have money, we can buy what we want. We wouldn't worry about money and we will be happy. And all this money now, let's show everyone that you are a winner. Let's take the family on an expensive vacation. But when you get back, you'll begin building the wealth so you never have to worry about money again. You'll never have to worry about money ever, ever again. Well, in a very short time, you'll be back into your identity's reality and once again be in money anxiety. You see, what happens is the identity of money anxiety is easy to see. It's those people that the moment that they get their tax rebate back, they can't wait to spend that money. The moment they make a little extra money, they can't wait to spend the money. They can't wait. They have to get rid of it. This identity of money anxiety is easy to see in lottery winners. Realize that 70% of lottery winners lose all or spend all the money in five years or less. And it doesn't matter if they won $500 or millions of dollars. The human being is hardwired for behavior. And this behavior is dictated by what's held in mind. If you have money anxiety, you must live in lack of money. You must worry about money. You must have a fear of money. Now, when we talk about this is, you think that if you have all that windfall of money come in, that your life would change. But it really doesn't change. The reason it doesn't change the identity didn't change. So the behavior didn't change. You just had more money in your bank account. But soon that money will disappear and it'll disappear fast. And this happens to a lot of people. They work hard and they finally get a deal. They finally make this extra money they're always wanted. And before you know it, the money is gone or they will increase their lifestyle. So their new income still leaves them in fear of money in being broke because they've increased their expenses. So that's one behavior. Another behavior that does not make rational sense is when you hold the lack money anxiety program, you will procrastinate, even avoid making more money. Now, when we have money anxiety, our state, you have to realize, you know those energies is in 100 fear. And this creates a reality that will confirm all worries about money. See, in this reality, in this state, you cannot see the solution nor the opportunities. You have prosperity perceptional blindness. I'll talk more about this on Connection Thursday. So instead of calling on potential clients, you'll hesitate and do other things. You'll find yourself doing busy work. Oh, I was so busy today. Or so, one thing after another thing will come up. Oh, I'll get to it tomorrow. I'll get to it later. I'll get to it next week. You hesitate and do all these other things. Instead of building another revenue stream, you procrastinate. Instead of dialing in that budget, you avoid even looking at your budget. You avoid even looking into what you're spending. All the while, complaining, wanting wishing for more money. So you no longer understand, you no longer have money anxiety if you can release the lack program. That's the only way you get rid of it. Wishing for more money, you're never going to get it. Wanting more money, you're never going to get it because you haven't released the program that keeps you in money anxiety. And none of this is rational. Having a couple hundred thousand dollars in your bank account, many of you would say, oh man, I would turn my life around. And I will tell you, no, you wouldn't. Not if you have this money anxiety program. And then there's always opportunities. I don't care. We find opportunities during a pandemic. There's always opportunities to make more money. You would seize those opportunities if you could see those opportunities. But when you're in money anxiety, you have prosperity perceptual blindness. You don't see the opportunities. You only can view your reality 
and everything in your reality is telling you you're broke, you can't afford this, the prices are too high, you're in trouble. It's always confirming the money anxiety, so you worry. See, the human being is hardwired for behavior, and behavior is dictated by what is held in mind. What is held in mind will drive 95% of your behavior, and behavior builds reality. So you can see if you hold this program in mind, you're going to create that reality. I don't care if you're if somebody leaves you a million dollars, if all of a sudden overnight you make a million dollars, it will not be sustainable if you don't change the identity and behavior. So what are the signs? What are some signs that you're suffering from money anxiety? Well, the first sign obviously is worry. You worry about your income or you fear something bad could happen with your finances. Every program in mind will create an emotion felt in the body. Your emotional response to money when you have money anxiety is anxiety. It makes you nervous. You don't want to talk about it. You want to avoid it. All fear energies. Now, money anxiety actually doesn't mean you're broke. It's worry. You could have a good sum of money, but worry about losing it, or you worry about the rising gas prices, or you worry about getting sick and having a huge medical bill. You fret about everything happening in the world and you fear losing your security. Unfortunately, little do you know, you are actually creating these events. Like I said, you just don't know it. But something's going to break down or someone's going to get suddenly sick or some large bill will present itself that wasn't expected or just maybe you'll get shut down. Your business will get shut down and you can no longer work. But something's going to happen. Now, there are signs of the money anxiety program. And let's talk about them. One of the signs of having a money anxiety program are aches and pains, headaches, stomach aches when you look at the finance category. Avoidance. You put, pain, you put off paying bills even when you have the money. Actually, people sometimes have to chase you and keep reminding you to pay them, even though you have money in the bank. Analysis from paralysis. You cannot move forward in spending or investing. You keep weighing options. But in truth, you are paralyzed in fear. No work-life balance. This is the other way. You may feel like you have to work more and more and more just to stay afloat just to break even. You have to work 70, 80 hours just so you don't go broke. This is another mindset of lack. You don't believe in abundance. You could say you believe in abundance. You could say you believe in prosperity. You could say all these words. All you have to do to know your truth is look at your reality. The identity and the reality are interchangeable. They cannot be separated. If your reality is telling you that you lack money, that means that your mind has the lack program and your identity is carrying money anxiety. Rigidity. Now, those that do plan the budget to the penny, they're doing this in fear. If you're doing this out of fear, you're not releasing a lack program, you create this budget and you plan that budget down to the cent. You don't give yourself flexibility, which is a 250 neutrality energy. When you do something out of fear, you're in a 100 energy. So you can't have flexibility. So what happens? You'll get upset if everything is not perfect. So if you go over your budget a little bit or something comes up, you don't have the flexibility, what will happen? You will abandon the budget and you'll go back to your old behavior. You also, if you have money anxiety, you will have trouble sleeping. You may lay awake at night worried about your income, worried about paying the bills, worried about some pending disaster that might happen in the future, worried about whether you will ever be able to retire, worried that you will be deemed a loser. These are the worries that keep you up at night. This is what is money anxiety. So this week's topic is the finance category. David's going to address money in the millennial on Monday. Coach Peggy, who is a self-made millionaire, will discuss her views of the finance life category. 
I'm bringing in an incredible wealth advisor to discuss the process to build wealth. Anna Ramos of Amita Wealth. You could check her out at Amita, A-M-I-D-A Wealth.com, Amita Wealth.com. Check her out. And she's going to talk on what it takes to build wealth. And she's going to talk about how she works with the millennial generation to get them on the right path so they don't have to be scrambling later in life or to get them out of this anxiety, this money anxiety we're talking about today. And this week, I'm going to address the health aspect of wealth and how to set a prosperity mind. So I look forward to hearing from you as we progress through this week's topic of the life category finance, understanding that this is one of the areas where most people have their worry. And that is what statistics are showing us. And yes, the world has changed. The pandemic changed the whole landscape for everything. And so that money anxiety is real. But again, it's just a program. It stems from the state of 100 fear. When you're in fear, remember, you have those resistances. And so remember, if you have money anxiety and fear, how can you possibly have prosperity? You can't. The ego is going to keep you stuck. The identity is going to make sure you stay stuck. So you never get out of that reality of lack, not enough money, being broke, can't afford it, being a victim, always worried. So this week, that's our goal. Our goal is to help you get out of this. We're bringing in experts. We're getting different views on this. And I think this is going to be a very important week to follow. That's it for today's show. Our mission here is to create a shift in the planet. You can join us on this mission by simply like, share, and subscribe. Links are right below the show notes. As always, until next time, stay inspired.